Alrighty, ho, welcome to the Mr. Obvious Show. I am Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. <laughs> hey, Mr. Obvious. Long time listener, first time caller. Uh huh, I appreciate the call. What can I do for you? Well, Mr. Obvious, I'm having problems with my wife, and for the life of me, I don't know what to do about it. I, I think she's having mental problems. Well, how, caller? That can be very serious. Let me remind you that I'm not trained in psychology. On the other hand, though, I do know a little something about human behavior. So I'll give it a shot. Thanks, Mr. Obvious. Uh, so here's the thing. I, I think my wife might have a split personality or something. Mm. Uh, I mean, sometimes she's, she's so nice to me. She praises me to high heaven, and then uh, other times she's just unbelievably mean. Now, call her from time to time. I found that people will experience mood swings. Mm -hmm. Could be caused by stress, a physical problem, right. a chemical imbalance, <laughs> or it could be... Pardon my French. Her time of the month. Oh. What, what do you mean her, her time? Her cycle. <laughs> no, she don't, she don't ride a motorcycle, Miss Trotter. She, she drives a car. No, no, no. Call her her period, premenstrual syndrome, PMS. Oh, oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, uh, when her aunt Millie... Flo. Flo comes to visit. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. No, no, no. It, it, it's not that. I, I actually thought of that, but, you know, she she's like this all month long. I mean, it's... It doesn't just happen every few weeks. It's 24-7, Mr. O. <laughs> hmm. hey, I guess it might be one of them chemical imbalances she was talking about. Cause, uh, I mean, it happens quickly. <laughs> she'll, she'll literally compliment me one second, and then in the very next breath, she'll insult me. Hmm, that's extremely unusual, caller. In my experience, a true split personality is quite rare. Why don't we try to figure this out together? Let's start with the positive things she says. Accentuate the positive. That's what I always say. Great idea, Mr. Obvious. Uh, uh, well, well, sometimes she makes me feel real special. Um, she'll, she'll put me right up there and rank me with the, the world's great financiers or playwrights or scientists. Like uh, Galileo or Stephen Hawking? Uh, no, she, she ain't mentioned none of them. But, uh, <laughs> they're like Einstein. That's one that she says all the time. Well, I can see where that would be good for your ego. Oh, yeah, it feels great. But, but just for a second, because then right afterwards she'll say something really mean. So you're on an emotional roller coaster. Maybe you could give me a specific example. I'm sure, Mr. Obvious. Uh, just a couple of days ago, for instance, I put together this brand new bookcase we got. And she says, nice going, Einstein, uh -huh. <laughs> which made me feel great. And then, and then she follows it up and says, you put the shelves in upside down, you jackass. <laughs> Boom, she just changed so quickly. I, I didn't know what to think. And then the next day, she did the same kind of thing. She goes, hey, Bill Gates, <laughs> the bank just called, and we're overdrawn again, you nimrod. Uh, I'm beginning to get the picture. Yeah, she's now, crazy. <laughs> earlier when you said something about her comparing you to famous playwrights, were you talking specifically about Shakespeare, as in the phrase, nice play, Shakespeare? Uh, Mr. Obvious, that, that's exactly what she says. <laughs> nice play, Shakespeare. And then, boom, she changes her attitude just like that and says something really mean. I think she probably needs therapy. That's no, uh, caller, I don't think therapy will make a difference. Oh, no, really? So, so you think probably medication? Caller, <laughs> listen to me carefully. Your wife is using sarcasm. Uh, Mm -hmm. Is that one of them new drugs they got out now? I know she's already on Claritin. She's got the Maybe it's that combination of Claritin and sarcasm. No, call her sarcasm isn't a drug. Uh, an attitude, a way of saying things. It's saying something in such a way that the opposite of what you're saying is what you truly mean. Oh, oh I get it. That's nice. So, so like when she calls me a nimrod, she means just the opposite. No, call her. I'm afraid that's the part that isn't sarcasm. When she calls you Einstein or Don Juan. How'd you know she calls me Don Juan? Just a guess. Anyway, when she says those names, that's when she's being sarcastic. She's basically saying that you're the exact opposite of Einstein or Bill Gates. So actually, she's being quite consistent in what she's saying. So there, there, there isn't anything wrong with her after all? No, mentally, she's perfectly healthy. <laughs> I was afraid she was losing it. Hey, Rockefeller, I hope that's a toll-free call you're making, you big dope. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's not, honey. It's a toll call. And, and, hey, why didn't you tell me you've been using sarcasm? You know we don't have any secrets in this family. You could tell me in this family. 
You could tell me uh-huh. anything. Wow, Chris, can you finally <laughs> broke the code? <laughs> and went. Uh, so Mr. Obvious, when she calls me Kreskin... <laughs> yeah, she means just the opposite. Gotcha. Yeah, that's right, Betty Crocker. <laughs> do I smell burning steak? Hey, you better check the kitchen, you moron. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh. great sarcasm. <laughs> I never made the connection. Mr. Obvious, you're a lifesaver. Well, I try to help where I can. <laughs> oh, yeah. You helped, all right. Yeah, you're a regular Dr. Phil, you said. Uh, sarcasm has a time and place, and I don't think this is it. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was just practicing, Mr. That's Wood. all the time we have for this week's Mr. Obvious Show. Thanks for listening.